¿Dónde está Chiqui? I don't know. Where is Donde está Chiqui? Uh, I'm not really sure if it's a boy or a girl, so I don't know how to refer to it. No hablo. All right. Well, we're here with Nick and Joe again. Yeah. So before we watch our main video, we have a sponsor, Rubble Rama. Here we go. <coughs> Mommy, I can't go to sleep. My tummy. What? Here, let me. Let me mix the audio so I can actually hear what they're saying. Say something. Today's sponsor is Piracy. Okay, yeah, we can we can hear. All right, now that everything's fixed, let's do this. Rubble Rama by the Aquabats. <laughs> well, try harder. No, no, honey, I'm not sure what we should do. I know. <laughs> Brand new from the Aquabats is therapeutic Rubble Rama with vaporizing <laughs> action. First, put on the special protective rubber gloves and reach in the bottle. Smoothly applicate therapeutic rubber rama on the child's skin. Oh, stop. Therapeutic rubber rama will start to emit. Dan Schneider. Oh, yeah. <laughs> funny, funny, evil guy. It'll take effect. The nose will begin to exit the mouth and nasal no passage of the child through the magical air. And release the, the magical air. Stage two begins when you apply the medicinal leeches. The medicinal leech. With nothing at all. With therapeutic rubberama, your child will be feeling better and playing. Oh no! Be quiet! I'm trying to sleep. The Aquabats new therapeutic rubber rama now with vaporizing action and medicinal leeches, each sold separately. Now available from Gloopy. Why was he touching the light before he turned it off? Like making it, making it. Uh, uh, please. All right. Yeah. Now onto our actual video. We are going to watch this video now. Me and Joe have seen this, but we're doing something different. All right. We are going to rank Radio each. Right. Yeah, we're going to rank each way he makes an egg and describe why we would want it or why we wouldn't want it. So, let's watch. Hey everybody, this is Emil Stein, editor for Basically a Bon Appetit, and this is no, almost every man. way to make an egg. Now we're doing egg. Cool. This is an egg. Ovular in shape, they come in a lot of different colors, but there's not a whole lot of difference on what's on the end. Don't give Nick's dad turkey eggs, he'll throw a fit. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm being serious. I thought I called his dad just started swearing at a turkey egg. <laughs> <laughs> Size, however, does <laughs> so for consistency, today we're just using large brown eggs. When you crack them, you can see that they're comprised of a runny white and a yellow orange center, or yolk, which both contain different proteins that coagulate or harden at different temperatures. So just a few degrees of difference in cooking temperature or time are going to have a profound impact on how the food turns out. We're going to take these eggs and cook them in as many ways as we can possibly think of. So All right. The process and the end okay, we couldn't start this video on all of the way. I'm already... Uh, I'm I'm already kind of not into this. <laughs> yeah, I've had a raw egg. It's not that bad. Yeah. Uh, it, it doesn't taste like anything. Well, all right. Let's just watch. This is literally just an egg cracked into a glass. There's nothing else going on. Can you turn up the volume a little bit? There's captions! Can't yeah, you read? I can, but it just makes it, the volume better. Yeah, but I want to make sure everyone can hear you. It's more important to hear you than this. It doesn't actually taste like that much. How's that? I guess it's better. Alright. So... This is a pretty good video. I know. Well, 
You didn't have to shoot for 30 minutes. Look, well, we've already started anyway, so let's just go with it. Right. So, I don't want to do this for yeah. two reasons. One, it's just, even though it might not taste like much, the texture is just sounds that gross. Is, it's yeah. like drinking snot. Yeah. I've, it's food, it's always the texture. I mean, I've played around with raw eggs before, and also there's salmonella. Ugh. Salmonella is not that common in store-bought eggs. Still, it's not really the best idea to drink a raw egg. Yeah, because it's pasteurized, isn't it? Yeah, but no still. Too, so. It's still not the best idea, and I don't want to try it. It sounds gross, so I'm going to give this a zero. Uh, yeah. Nick, what would you give it? I'd give it a negative one. <laughs> Joe? Out of what? Ten. Like a two. Uh, Alright. I, I, I don't know what the movie was called. I forgot. My, I watched it like a long time ago, but it was like this... I think it was a caveman. They they, they try to get raw eggs, but instead, but instead it, it eats the egg cell. Huh. It, you know, there was a movie we watched in like first grade that actually made me gag oh. called... <laughs> Called How to Eat Fried Worms. What? It's a movie about a kid who has to eat worms. Ugh. I, I, I know we were watching it. And I had to like go to the office because I felt sick. It was disgusting. It was like the gross, the most disgusting movie ever. Okay, we're getting off topic. Let's just keep yeah, let's video. let's move on. Texture plays into food. Raw egg, once you put it into a cup and put a little bit of salt and some Tabasco and some Worcestershire on it, well, then you have what's called a prairie oyster. Apparently, this is good for a hangover, though I have my doubts. Let's give it a shot. It definitely tastes more than a raw egg. The smell is really hard to get out of your nose once you swallowed it. I... I don't... No. <laughs> no. Again, texture. Like... Texture really does play into how I like food. Like, I don't like undercooked tater tots because I don't like diced potatoes. So when yeah. they're cooked right, it's like a regular mash, like in a fry. Yeah. And it's nice and crispy, so... No, again, zero. Alright. Nick, what about you, zero? Yeah, I guess. Joe? Like a four, it's mo. It actually has flavor, so it's better. Yeah, I don't want to do it because just the texture. It's kind of gross. We're not done yet. Amber moon egg. We've had a raw egg. We've had a prairie oyster. Now we're going to make something called an amber moon, which is basically all of those things plus liquor. Now it's a cocktail. We can't speak right, on this There one. it is, an amber moon. Bottoms up. We're all minors. Yeah, all of us are 17. We can't. Yeah. <laughs> Spicy, it's salty. The only thing that's hard is actually the quantity of liquid. But I actually think if I was hungover and I drank this, I would either vomit and go back to bed or move on with my day in a pretty cool way. Even if I were 21, I probably wouldn't try this because, again, texture. Yeah. Yeah. Not applicable. I don't want to become an alcoholic when I get eh. kids. Well, I mean, I'll drink sometimes, but, you know, like, like I'll go to a bar or something, but... I'm not gonna. Yeah, yeah. Trust me, I'm not gonna become an alcoholic, but I will drink sometimes. Yeah. I'm going to Bad Brad's for my 21st birthday because they have a bar there and their food's really good. So I'll have my first alcohol at Bad Brad's. Yeah. So, yep, that will happen in about uh four years, I think. Okay. Well, what we're looking Ooh, for is no color that. or crispiness on the white. And yep, the classic egg. Runny and ready to burst. Yeah. We're not going to flip it. A little bit of salt, and there you have it. Our sunny side up egg. This looks like an emoji egg. The white is kind of to try that. in a really appealing way, and that yolk is ready to pop. It's barely gelled. This is what you mm. want for your rice bowl or on top of something like a mushroom toast. So, um, I, I'm, I might try it someday, but the runny egg is a bit... Uh, strange to me. Yeah. 
but I might try it. It sounds decent. This one looks a, a little too samey. Yeah, I've never had a runny yolk. Here's the eggs I've had. I've had scrambled, uh, omelet fied, and hard boiled. Hmm? And hard boiled to the point where the yolk. Hard boiled to the point where the yolk is uh, fully cooked and it's yellow. Ooh. So, yeah. Hard boiled eggs are good. Uh, All right. Give them a try. All right. The yolk. I don't. I don't usually eat the white part when I have hard boiled, but yeah, you know, I usually just right. go for the yolk. All right. So All right. ranking, I'd give it a four. Yeah. Nick. Yeah, I thought maybe like a, a five or four. I don't know. Somewhere in the middle. All right, Joe. Uh, six. All right. It's delicious and very simple. Olive oil fried egg. This Ooh. Is the name of the game, so we need high heat. Throwing on my salt, that, my friends, is an olive oil fried egg. You have this nice contrast between these really crispy, lacy edges, and then right here is just barely cooked. Mm, so you're getting a lot of flavor from the olive oil and a nice textural contrast between the super rich, oozy yolk and this almost pork rindy white. This is pork rind? I tried a pork rind once. All right. I think this is about the same as the last, except it's cooked. This is way better, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, but... I give it a five. Yeah, I'll give it a five. You know, one more than my last. What are the rankings exactly? Like, one to what? Well, I told you, one to ten. Huh. Told you earlier, before we started. Right. And, uh, Joe? Ten. Seven, I said. All right. Yeah, my dad told me uh, when Nana... You know, his mom used to make, uh, you know, he, like, she used to make Sunny Side Up. He would just dip the toast in the yolk. Yeah. Oh, that's what I do. Yeah. I might try that. I don't know. He's, he said they have a pork rind aftertaste. No, it's kind of a pork rindy texture. I've had a pork rind once. Uh, I haven't really had pork. I, I mean, I've had bacon, obviously. Yeah. Bacon's delicious. And, and, of course, I've had sausage. Yeah. Bacon and sausage. The two classic breakfast items who, that actually go really well with eggs. Yeah. So we're not completely off topic. All right. Let's move on. Definitely one of our favorites. Yeah. Oh, fried and basted egg. We're going to fry another egg, but this time we're going to baste it, which means we're going to spoon olive oil over the yep. top of the egg while it cooks. Yep. <laughs> Definitely looks... Doesn't look good, but we're not going to be a baby. So the biggest difference here, where the last time we had a little bit of uncookedness right around the yolk, here it's completely cooked. Mm, that tastes great, and this is a great way to make a fried egg. This is basically the same as the last one. Four, yeah. seven. Actually, he, maybe it's six because I'm probably going to burn myself making it. Yeah. I'm just going to keep my rating. Nick, what about you? Yeah, maybe a four. I thought you had a five for the last one. Yeah. I this is the this is the same as the last one. Yeah. The, the only difference is there's olive oil on top too, and you might burn yourself. Yeah. It is more cool. cooked around the middle, but you know it's not much of a difference. So I, I'm just keeping my rating. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. This time, instead of basing the egg with nice. oil, we're going to add a little bit of I make color, which is going to produce seed that's going to help to cook the egg. Whoa, that, okay, that looks cool. I like that. Ooh. Oh, I, I see post eggs. Yeah. This isn't a post egg. This is different. No, this is steamed. Oh. All right. Steam, steam from the steamed okay. clams we're having. Yep. I knew, I knew someone was going to make a steamed hams reference. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that means a classic. It's too hard to avoid. Yeah. Well, what I... Here, I want to show you what I like about this egg. Watch what happens when he cuts it. So... I... I don't know why. I just... I like how you can't really see the yolk, so it makes it oozing out a bit more satisfying. Yeah. It looks like a pancake on the bottom. Yeah, it does. 
That's what I do like about the runny oaks. It just looks really cool. Yeah. I think I think I'm gonna go with five again. This is about the same as the other three. We're gonna go six. Joe? This is an eight from me. Yeah. It's good. Over easy, over medium, and over hard eggs. We're gonna cook them for about two to three minutes on this first side, and the only difference between these three eggs is once we flip them, Ooh. we spend different amounts of time on that second side, which is gonna dramatically change the texture of the yolk. So here we have our three classic diner eggs. Okay, let me tell you, when he cuts it, it's gonna look really cool. All right. Because he can't know what when you cut egg. I know, but you can't see the yolk, so it looks even better. So over here, yeah. you can see the white is still super tender, and the yolk is very cooked. It's very Look at that. And runny. The over wow. That is the cool looking. It's definitely a little bit more cooked. It's thicker, and it's oozing out a lot more slowly. And here with the over hard, you can see the yolk is completely cooked. It almost looks like an eight-minute boiled egg or something like that. And all right. Uh, let's rank all these. Uh... For the first one, probably a four. Second one, five. Third yeah. one, probably a seven because the yolk is cooked, and I like cooked yolk. All right. Nick, what about you? Uh, probably like four, five, and six, maybe. All right, I Joe. I'd say six, six, and five. All right. Going from left to right. Yeah. All right, so, yeah, again, runny yolks, I haven't had them yet, but I do like, but I already like cooked yolks, that's why cooked yolk gets a better ranking, because I've already had it, and I know I like it. Yeah, you cook a yolk for too long, it gets kind of chalky for me. Yeah, I do like hard-boiled eggs, but we'll get to those. And the white is definitely a little bit rubbery for that one. So, oh, something for other Salt block fried egg. The idea here is that now, when I first heard of salt block frying, I thought it was expensive. I look on e I look on Amazon; it's only like fifty dollars for one. Hmm. Not I that expensive. It's still not, still not a cheap piece of salt. Well, it's affordable though. It's affordable. I mean, you only need it's one. Best. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, as see, it doesn't seem to make much of a difference. Yeah, but. Um, but compared to what I thought it was going to cost, I thought it was going to cost, like, $300 or something, but then I look and it's only 50 I'm like, oh, okay, I could actually try this. <laughs> so, salt block, I could actually try cooking on one, because it's not too expensive. All right. All right, anyways. But it retains a lot of heat, and it'll maybe season the egg somewhat. But it's also taking a really long time to cook. So there's your salt block fried egg. It's good, Ooh, nice. but it's definitely not the most efficient or effective. Ooh. It, yeah, I think the salt block will add a little bit more flavor to it. I'd probably give it a seven. Yeah, seven sounds good. Uh, Joe? Yeah. Six. It's about the same, but there's not real. It's about the same, but there's not really any benefit to doing it like that. I mean, you do get a bit of salt, probably, because while well, you're cooking on a literal salt block. Ooh! Ooh! Yep, that is actually how McDonald's makes McMuffins. Awesome. They crack the egg into a little ring, and then, you know, let it... And they mix it around a bit, let it cook. Nice. Oh, no, I worked there. Wait, wait, you still work there? Or did... I worked there. Oh, uh, I thought you said you work. I mean, I know you worked there, but I thought I, I thought you said work, so I thought you got back to the job. Yeah. I'd probably give it a, I'd probably give it a five. Um... Uh, you know, put this in a biscuit, I'd probably give it an 8 if you put in, like, a McDonald's sausage biscuit with some cheese. Yeah, yeah. I assume we're just doing it by itself. Yeah, but, uh, what I'm saying, like, that would increase the rating if, you know, you put this in a sausage biscuit with cheese. Yeah. All right. That, what's your rating without it? Yeah, so, Joe, what's your rating? Like a, like a 5. By yeah. itself. 
What would your rating be with the biscuit? That's like an eight with the biscuit. Yeah, I by like itself. More, but... By itself, it's probably a three because it's not much. Yeah. I mean, it'll taste okay, but it's not much without you know biscuit, sausage, cheese. All right. There we have a perfect egg McMuffin. The main benefit of this is definitely portability, and for anybody who's fully disgusted by runny yolk. Cracked and scrambled egg. We're just gonna crack. Oh egg yeah, egg these are classic. Pan that's set over medium oh, to wow. medium low heat, and we're just gonna scramble them as we go. We don't want it to be too hot, otherwise our eggs are gonna get cooked too quickly. Always make sure to pull your scrambled eggs before you think they're done to account for carryover cooking. There you have it. Cracked in the that's pan, scrambled. Kids. All right. Well, that. This is a classic. You can't go wrong with scrambled eggs. Yeah. It's definitely a classic. I, When I was little, I had what my parents called cheesy eggs. It was basically just scrambled eggs, but they put some cheddar cheese in there. Uh, I'll get to that in a moment. But, uh... Yeah, overall, five. Hmm. Nick? Yeah, I give it a five. Joe? Eight. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why you guys rated it so low. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. well, five is pretty good. But, I'm saying, like, as is, but with cheese, uh, probably a bit more. Yeah. I know. Scrambled eggs, I'm just not as into as omelets and, uh, hard-boiled. Alright. So what you're going to notice here are these kind of distinct bits. Like, that's mostly yolk. Here you have mostly white. You definitely have some bits which are a lot richer and some that are a little bit leaner. But there's nothing wrong with this method for scrambling eggs. Low and slow, slow scrambled, scrambled eggs. Egg. All right, scrambled eggs round two. This time we're going to beat them first. And we're going to cook them really low really and slow, which is your favorite way to make eggs. You're continuing to stir so you don't have any kind of big sheets of egg. We want the texture to almost yeah. be like ricotta or Ooh. And then we have some Here's how I do it. Scrambled eggs. You know this All right. This is this is how I this is similar to how I make eggs. What I do is I beat the eggs together with some milk or cheese in that and then put it on the put it on the stove and then cook it till it's done. It has like a consistency similar to like mashed potatoes and it's so good. All I right. Use that for, I also use that for French toast. <laughs> I gotta, try, I gotta try. I gotta try. I gotta try Joe's idea. I love. I love mashed potatoes. So mashed potato eggs sounds amazing. You wanna know how I do a French toast? Huh? With like the I put eggs it, together like, with milk and like food and stuff. I put like five or six eggs in a teaspoon of milk and some vanilla extract. Just put some bread in it, and then put it, fry it on a pan for like. It looks like brown. And crispy. Yeah, I'm gonna start trying to cook. So I've been wanting to start cooking. Yeah. I haven't really cooked much by myself other than some frozen stuff. Yeah. Or reheating stuff, but yeah, yeah, I think eggs will be a good start for me. Yeah. I also want to try to make a secret pizza sauce recipe. Because mm. I love pizza sauce. Mm -hmm. All right, so what do we give this? Maybe it's a five or a six. This is my ten. Uh, maybe a six. All right. Again, it needs some cheese. Yeah. The texture is like curdy. The French is using the term babouche, which actually means dog snot. It's delicious. Ew. There are a lot of people who would think that eggs oh. like this. Dog snot. To me, this is <laughs> fast scramble. Scrambled eggs, Ooh. round three, but hot and fast this time. We're going to beat the eggs together, make sure they're fully incorporated, and you're going to have to start moving these eggs around as soon as they hit the pan. They're going to cook in less than a minute. Unlike last time where you had that kind of curdy texture, this time we're going for little ribbons or sheets of egg. And these are our hot and fast scrambled eggs. These are not overcooked. They're not. I think this is more like a restaurant scrambled egg. Yeah, I guess it's so. If I'm not wrong. Let, let's yeah, see the texture on it. You definitely have a little bit more of the texture of the pan. It definitely looks like a restaurant style scrambled eggs. That bottom looks a little scary. It looks a little sus. Yeah. Like so, uh, maybe a five. Yeah, I guess. Maybe seven. All right. 
It's not quite something that you would soon up. You really want to get your fork in there. Put that on some toast. Foil. So we're going to set four. Oh, here we go. This is. Hard boiled eggs are amazing, especially when you cook them long enough. Yeah. Five minutes, the oil six egg. and a half minutes, eight minutes, and ten minutes. The eggs are all going to go at the same time into already boiling water. We're going to pull the eggs out after these things go off. Get them into ice baths, which helps separate the membrane from the actual egg itself. You can't eat a boiled... Yeah, yep. That's definitely how you cook a hard-boiled egg. That's how my mom makes them. Yeah? Yeah. You put them in boiling water. That's how you do it. Yep, and then you put them in cold water to cool off, and then you eat them. You gotta eat them cold. Yeah. Eat them cold, it's good. Um, what I like to do is just peel away the white and just go straight for the yolk. Alright. Because... That's the opposite of what I do. I eat the white, and I get rid of the yolk, because the way my mom always made them, they, they always got a little chalky, the yolk at least. did. What do you mean by chalky? If you cook the yolk for too long, it, like... It gets like, what is it, like crumbly, kind of, like crumbly? It gets way too, yeah, it gets way too crumbly. And... Eh, that, that's kind of how I like my yolk, like just a little bit crumbly. Yeah. Yeah. I like the looser side. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I like the white, it's just too squishy and weird. Uh, but... I like the yolk. It has more flavor, and I like the texture to it. Yeah. Like, without like peeling it first. Yolk. It's interesting to know that it's actually easier to peel an egg that is older rather than a super farm fresh egg. And voila. Oh yeah, the peeling. That's the that's the part I hate about hard boiled eggs is peeling the freaking shell off. Yeah. yeah. That's annoying. A boiled egg. We gotta, okay, we so gotta move quicker. All these boiled eggs, we're really able to see yeah, them. well, well, this is a detailed analysis. See the way yeah, but I'm not gonna be here for two hours talking about yolk. eggs. Let's start here with our I know, we'll, eggs. You can see it has an almost rough, we'll try. funny white and a completely liquid yolk. Great for dipping toast into. This is our six and a half minute egg. I, I feel like this has the most appealing the sort of contrast food. between that really soft yolk and a fully yeah. cooked white. Next up, our yeah, eight I give it five. Egg. There's six. no running what. Well, if it if it's cooked enough, I'd give it like like a ten. Alright. If it's cooked proper if it's cooked the way I like it, then ten. Okay. I just I love hard boiled eggs. They're really good. Even though I only eat the yolk, it's still delicious. Alright. It's pretty filling. You know, it fills okay. you up, Joe. I said six. Yeah. The yolk is still very orange and isn't chalky at all. That's really nice. And last but not least, we have our 10-minute egg. Firm whites and a yellow yolk that has just a bit of that orange jamminess. This is like the kind of thing I just want to keep in the fridge to pull out whenever I'm super hungry. Steam. Would you say it's your jam, Emil? Would you say it's your jam? Steam them. This is effectively the same. I guess. The cool thing about this is you don't have to wait for a whole pot of water to pour over. I've already said the steam joke. All right, Nick, uh, whatever happening over? Uh, yeah, my mom wants me to take a shower in, in a while. I'll do it after this. All right. Yeah, you're all going to have the same amount of steam. And here we have our steam. Egg. So what we have right here is a really nice looking eight minute egg. The white is very huh. tender. We've got this nice jammy looking yolk. Personally, this is one of my favorite methods for hard boiling it. Um, maybe a... Uh... Six. Yeah, I guess. Sure, I got distracted. It's like a jammy sort of yolk. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just keep going. This is a hot Welcome to Hell This is an instant pot. It's a pressure cooker. It's a slow cooker. It does a lot of other things that you can probably do with other things you already have in your kitchen. We're going to set this thing to five minutes. We're going to get that egg in there. And when it's done, we're going to vent it, which releases the pressure. And there you go. Uh -oh. All right, so here we have our pressure cooked egg. To me, that's an overcooked boiled egg. This actually took longer. Yeah, that's it. That's my type of egg right there. Yeah. I'd probably, I'd probably try it. Ten. Ten for me. I like those. Yeah. Three. Eight, Not eight. only does it have the chalk of the egg, 
egg that I don't like, but literally, why would you, even if you wanted that, why would you get a pressure cooker? Or why yeah. why would you get an instant pot when you could just get a pressure cooker or a, just a pot of boiling water? You know what this you know what this reminded me of? I saw a comment where some guy said he la he was laughing at a rice cooker for five minutes straight. What? Well, that's a rice cooker. That's, <laughs> not, that's not an instant pot. I know, but that's what rice it reminded me of. Perfect. Well, that's what it reminded me of. <laughs> he just thought a rice cooker was that funny. Did a worse <laughs> job. So yeah, steaming, boiling, a much better option. <laughs> Normally something is sealed inside a plastic. This is a weird way of cooking stuff, let me tell you. Yeah. And then put into a water bath that's at a consistent temperature for a specific amount of time. In this case, no bag. The egg is its own bag. So we're just going to let that immersion circulator move the water around at that very consistent temperature for around 45 minutes. And we're good to go. So this is our sous vide egg. The yolk's wiggly, the white's oh. wiggly. Egg. Oh, that Wait. looks weird. Oh yeah. Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. That's delicious. The sensation in your mouth is almost like an egg jelly. But if runny eggs are not your thing, this is not for you. I. It's wiggly. It looks it's weird. It's, yeah. yeah. It's funny. I'm giving it a six out of ten. I know. I'm giving that a three. That just looks odd. Yeah. What about you, Nick? Maybe like a, a four. Yeah, I don't know. I I have it's <laughs> odd. So now we're gonna have some fun with our eight minute boiled eggs by pickling them in a beet infused vinegar mixture. So we've got some distilled white vinegar, a cup of water, some salt, sugar, and then we're gonna throw in some. All I can think that is that Britain stuff is pubs episode where the guy's like, you could keep a. Uh, you could keep pickled food in the back for seven years and eat it and not die. You definitely get some of the beef, definitely get the sugar. This would make a really nice addition. I don't know about sugar, though. Yeah. Sweet eggs just sounds bad. Yeah. I give it a six. I like pickles. Because he's sweet like a gherkin, where it's like sweet, but it's mainly sour. Uh, I. I'm gonna give it a two. Yeah, two. And it's, I'm, I'm giving it a six because I like pickles. Also, we put it in beets. So that's why it's pink. Oh, and pickle Rick. Yeah. We're gonna take cinnamon, yeah. cloves, cloves, fennel seed, sugar, salt, soy sauce, and of course tea. We've got our soft boiled eggs. We're gonna crack them all over with the soft boiled we're eggs. We're gonna submerge them in this liquid and let them cook for about 30 minutes. We're gonna add some ice, which is gonna cool things off. Then we're gonna cover them with the marinade to let them pick up even more color over the course of the next day. Look at that beautiful tea stained egg. It's got this stained glass looking exterior. It's delicious. Mm. Whoa, that's so weird. Yeah, yeah it's. I give it a four. Be kind of deep, yeah, but it looks it looks so cool. I try it. I like a five. I'll give it a four, Nick. I, yeah, I don't want to eat it. I want to put it on my. I'm giving it a four. It looks odd, but maybe I'll try it. Really get those spices. Right. This is a really fun way to eat it. Poached egg. Oh yeah, I blast off any of the wispy parts. See now it's starting to form kind of nice little package. Actually, pretty impressed with myself. Whoa. So here you can tell it the white. What the? Wow. It looks odd. Is totally you cooked. When you spin cook the plate, it, you can tell the, the yolk is still nice and Ooh. Like a yolk. That is satisfying. Yeah. yeah. I'll give this one a five. I'll try it. Yeah, me too. Joe? It's good enough for rich people. It's like Water. a seven. This is the you know what I can watch, guys? What? Eggs Benedict. What's that? And it's a poached egg on a sandwich with a. Uh, I think it's on like an English muffin with. I think ham and a certain kind of sauce. Ah. Hopefully awesome. that's so in the video. Basically, Whoa. Okay, that's that already sounds good. Yeah. Oh, mommy. Uh, oh, God, I mean. 
I love tomato sauce. It's probably my favorite sauce. So, uh, so immediately that boosts the rating because I love tomato sauce. Of the simmering sauce. Yeah. Reflect, the dream world, the white is all cooked and the yolk is still a little bit runny. See, I'm kind of concerned here that the bottom part of the egg got the lion's share of the heat. The tomato sauce is kind of an imprecise cooking medium, so it's not conducting heat as consistently as a pan full of water is going to. But it does add a lot of flavor, which is exciting. I don't Maybe. Uh, five. Yeah. Nick? Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably give it. We all agree, five. Four, five. Yeah, five. Yeah, tomato sauce and eggs. Sounds weird, but yet again, it is tomato sauce, so... Yeah. And we all like tomato sauce, because we all like pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, no. Uh, this might have been how I ate them when I was little. I don't remember that much, because I was back at the old house. <laughs> yeah. Wait for 40 seconds. Mmm, breakfast. I gotta be real. This looks mm. pretty gross. I don't know why you would do this. Don't. I don't know why either. Uh. Three. Eh. Two. Nick. What? You bitch. Rate it. Uh, oh. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I see it. I see it. I said rate it. Uh, probably like. Probably like two. Microwave, microwave round two. Revenge of the microwave. This time we're gonna try to poach an egg in here. Twenty-seven seconds. That is an egg poached in the microwave. This is not good. This looks really. Bad. The microwave might save some time, but it also like makes glue. bad eggs. <laughs> One. Yeah. One. Joe. No, uh, Nick, you go. It looked, it looked like glue, so maybe a two. Joe oh, meal. That one is George a one bird. All right, this is a George Foreman grill. You know it, you love it. And open this up, nonstick spray. Crack an egg on there, close it, and walk oh. away. And that, my friends, is an egg cooked on a George Foreman grill. I mean, this is a different. That is weird looking. Pressing waves, oh, it, you know, it was pretty good. Cooked. The yolk is pretty gnarly looking. I mean, if oh, you had to, you nice. could cook an egg this way. I just... Oh, dear. Possibly. I'll give it a four. I'm really sorry. Yeah. Well, probably got some crispy vegetables. I mean, we used like, like every other appliance. Okay. I'm sorry. A waffle iron for eggs? Well, let's see. Kitchen, so we may as well This guy's gonna die. Oh, I said the last one. Oh, this looks like some kind of alien. Like that is odd. I, I don't know. I'm gonna make that a three. Yeah. Joe? That's a one, my guy. I don't know why. I don't know. I, maybe like a two. I don't know. Right, yeah, you know what? A two. I'm changing it to a two. This is not a particularly delicious egg. Waffled egg, not so much. <sighs> this is an egg. This is a okay, blowtorch. Egg. We're going to crack this egg right onto a sheet pan, and then we're going to cook it with our blowtorch. We've got a little diffuser on here to kind of help disperse the heat a little bit more evenly. And we're just going to blast this thing with open flame until it's done, I guess? Oof. This. Uh, Ew! I think we can say this is not an effect. Zero. Yeah. Yeah, he, that's a zero. You should have used... He should have used Spaceballs the flamethrower. That would have cooked it evenly. Yeah. Effective way to cook an egg. Alright, right, so we've got our pan on medium omelet. heat. We're going to put a little butter in there. Oh, Alright, we're on the omelets. The, these are going to get some good ratings. I love omelets. Almost brown. Can you even make some more time? I think it's an Oh, yeah. Yep, every season at Daredevil, Kingpin makes an omelet. I don't know why, but he just, he does. <laughs> he has the same, like... He has the same classical music playing every time. I and he, think you like. Yeah. Still, so it's kind of funny seeing this gigantic uh, person just eat like a little omelet with just eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Pour the eggs in. 
you can see, it's starting to cook immediately. So I'm just gonna kind of start nudging it along with my spatula, then fold it over, flip that out, and that is your diner style omelet. It needs it needs some American cheese. Yeah. Then then you got an omelet. Yeah. So just add some cheese. You got a American cheese. Yeah. No, my, my man, you gotta use cheddar. Uh. My mom makes it with American. It's delicious. Yeah. I don't know. I I like American is probably my favorite cheese, but I'm not sure. I like I don't know. I love cheese, so it's hard to choose. I think yeah. it's a, I think for me it's a tie between American and cheddar. Yeah, right. Sharp cheddar. Definitely sharp cheddar. Yeah, right. But. Yeah, and All right, let's go. yeah, this needs just some cheese. So eight, eight for me with cheese, Nick. Yeah, probably like a, a seven. Joe. Maybe an eight. Yeah, yeah, just put some cheese in there. You got an eight. <laughs> for all the sorts of fillings that you might put into it. It's not normally about the eggs themselves. This would be delicious with some ham and peppers and cheese. Um, this time, we're using low heat, and this is going to come together much more slowly. We're going to beat our eggs, get a little bit of butter in the pan, we're going to pour our eggs in, and then we're going to start stirring constantly. We want the kind of curdy sort of texture. As soon as we start to form a little bit of skin, we're going to start rolling, and then we're going to oh. pull it out, and voila. That is a French word. This fuck? is a much more. That looks interesting. Looks like France. Cl looks like clay. I'll give it a six. France? I'll try it. It it looks strange but interesting. Yeah. I'll give it a six. Six. I'll give it a five. Yeah. Fine, delicate style of omelet. This is all about the egg. You don't really need to add any toppings or fillings here. Very creamy. No, you kind of do. Eggs don't really have much flavor. Yeah. Again, all you need is some cheese, and that's all you need for your omelet. So in this case, we're going to separate the whites and the yolks. We're going to beat the whites until they're fluffy, like you would for a meringue. Then we're going to fold the yolks back into the whites, transfer that to a hot pan with butter, put a plate over top to make sure the top cooks as well, and then we're going to fold it, put it out onto the plate, and that is a souffle. That looks... Dude. Wow. That looks pretty good. Yeah. It looks like a pancake. I like... I like how it looks. Yeah. I'm giving it an eight. Like I'm giving that an eight. I, I'll, I'll try that. That looks good. Looks like a pancake. Yeah. If you try, it probably wouldn't be underwhelming because it's probably just egg with air, but it's an eight. Well, you can put some cheese on it, always. Yeah. You can make it better. Into the eggs before we cook them. Light, cakey, fluffy sort of texture. Definitely not something I'd want to eat every day, but definitely interesting. Cloud egg. The cloud egg was kind of a novelty that was popular on Instagram for a little while. We're going to separate the yolks from the white like we did for the soup. We're going to dollop that on this baking sheet, and this is going to go into the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. Now we're going to pull it out, and we're going to drop our yolk back into that little pocket that we made and bake it until we have the consistency of a sunny side up egg. And then Ooh. This is a cloud egg. What the? What? <laughs> it's odd, but it looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, I think it's more about appearance with that one. This is kind of it's a like a muffin top. Egg. It's a little bit high concept. This one is interesting it's just tasting. A, it's really an experimental egg. I'll try it. I mean, it looks. It actually does look pretty decent. Yeah. Uh, five. Yeah. Joe? Alright. steamed egg custard. So here we have a couple of eggs. We're gonna mix those with egg some soy sauce to season it, some chicken stock. We're gonna transfer the eggs to a bowl. Ooh, we're gonna put the whole some flavor. In basket, cover it with a plate, and then put the lid on the pot. And we're gonna let the steam kind of gently cook the entire thing until it's wobbly and custard. Okay, so this is really good. Cool. As you can see, it's pretty firm. It almost has the texture of a uh, pie filling. That is strange, but looks. It yeah. sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah, like, 
like egg with soy sauce and chicken stock. That sounds so good. Yeah. Uh, eight. <laughs> That's an eight. I like that. Yeah. That is an eight. All right. Eight all around. Yep. Sesame oil on top, maybe some scallions. Ooh. Absolutely delicious. Yeah. So what we have here is an egg toddler. It's kind of a mini pot that we're going to put the egg in along with a little bit of cream, and then we're going to close it up and then submerge that in barely simmering water. And there we have our flying saucer touchdown. That is a pot of egg. All right, so we're going to take touchdown. the lid off. Oh. That's really good. Basically, the cream helped to create a gentle cooking medium for the egg. The lid helped to trap some steam, so it cooked all the way around. What I really want is a couple of toast soldiers to dunk in there. It's very tasty. Oh, toast soldiers. So now what? What are toast? What are toast soldiers? I don't know. Toast soldiers. Don't look it up. Toast soldiers. Don't look it up because I'm afraid. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That seems kind of uh, intimidating. Here, I'll look it up and put food at the end. Uh, just to. Uh, food. Toy soldier. toy soldier. Oh. You mean toy soldier? Oh. Uh, thin strip of bread. Yeah, maybe. I never actually had eggs on toast. Why do they call, why do they call it a soldier? All right. Eh, I guess it just sounded cool. Yeah. Overall, I don't know if I try that one. That's like a two. It's weird. Yeah. Joe. A, a two? No, that's like a seven. We're going to make a sure egg, the cream. Which is similar to a coddled egg, but this time it's going to be open in a ramekin in the oven. We're going to pop that in a 375 degree oven between 12 and 15 minutes. I can tell that we overcooked this one a little bit, but you still have a little bit of that oozing egg yolk. It's kind of cute. It might be more delicious if you added a little bit of cheese, made it like a little egg pot for brunch. It still has good flavor. This is a nice little self heat. Four. That's, Def a, that's an eight. Nah. Yeah, I, probably like a free. Yeah. Right, oh, well, okay. Speaking of useless gadgets, this is the air fryer. Oh, yeah. It's not really useless. I have one. It's well, not useless. You have the other gadgets. No, air fryer, it definitely cooks, like it reheats deep fried stuff better than oven soup. Yeah. Well, you could just. Like, like, it's like when I have McDonald's, like when I have McDonald's, you know, you know, I usually have leftover nuggets, so air frying them is way better than doing it in the oven. Yeah. And I bet well, doing that with fries. Just blowing air around. It's just a convection oven. Yeah, but somehow it just, I don't know. It's just better than an oven somehow. All right. It's weird. Cooking is weird. Not using air fryer. Air fryer is basically a tiny convection oven. So we've got a ramekin all buttered up. We're gonna crack our egg into it. A little bit of salt, a little bit of cream. Open our air fryer and put this guy right in there and close it. We're gonna set it to 300 degrees for like 12 minutes and uh, see what comes out on the other side. So this actually has a similar-ish texture to the shirred egg, except it's definitely a lot more rubbery. It's actually fairly tasty. It took 12 minutes. You could easily fry an egg in that amount of time. Possibly, uh, maybe a four. Yeah. Like, a, I said a seven for the last one. This one's a six, much like it gets a point deducted, because why do you need this device to cook eggs? I'm on the stove. Top. Like you said, if you're trying to cook this dish, you can cook it in other ways. I'm going to crack yeah. an egg in this ladle and then try to get it in there from as far away as I can possibly get. I'm worried this is going to... My parents won't get a deep fryer, so I'll get it when I'm an adult. Oh, that looks weird. Oh, I get that. Honestly, that's I would try that. Really good. Deep fried egg, I would try that. <laughs> yeah, deep fried stuff is delicious, so, you know what? Eight. Eight. Yeah, I'm, yeah, me too. Joe? Like a 
I give it a four because I give it a six and taste department that takes two points off because it would probably injure me. So I'll try four. it. This might be America's best new egg. If you, if you take bowl, the egg, Dehydrated egg. Let's just see how this goes before we make any conclusions. It's a military egg. Oh yeah, military egg. Yeah, that's like a one. That is. You gotta rehydrate them. It's I give it a two because it's not because you didn't finish cooking them. If you're dehydrating them, you gotta rehydrate them. So these are basically powdered eggs. Oh no, no! Is there a powdered egg it's man too? Egg rub craft. Powdered egg man. It, it's probably powdered milk man's cousin. We all know his brother, the mute. His. There's a guy I saw on YouTube named the Mutated Milkman. I asked if he was Powdered Milkman's brother, and he said yes. So, we know Powdered Milkman is a brother. And we Wait. now know he has a cousin named Powdered Eggman. And I'm, I'm going to be surprised if Powdered Toastman is related to him. Powdered Toast, man. Well, powdered toast is an actual thing. Uh, is basically just a so is powdered milk. Powdered milk no, is an actual thing. Powdered milk is actually milk in a powder. Powdered toast is toast covered with powder, in that being powdered sugar, I believe. Ah, uh, well. Powdered like powder sugar, man. Or woman. You it's know, Nick, uh, Nestle, topic, yeah. you know, the. The company Nestle was actually founded because uh, the guy found out how to make powdered milk. Cool. So Nestle it was created by the powdered milk man. Yep. So we're going to start on the stove top, medium high heat, just until the edges start to set, and then finish in a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes until it's golden brown and the center is set. This is basically just mm. a baked egg. The egg is fairly tender. It really nice. wants some cheese and other things in here. Otherwise, it's really not that much to write home about. Mmm. Four. It's like, it's like a frittata, I think. I give it a four. I probably give it a six. I'm going to go with a five. Four, five, six. We've got an egg. We've got a skewer. Frozen egg. Skewer into the egg. One. Don't even need to make it. Like an egg. Stop. Okay. Yeah, that is a frozen egg. I think we're going to have Eggsicle. to dump some hot water to peel it. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> no. And it is starting oh. to thaw a little bit. Oh. Negative five hundred. No, yeah. bad. Yeah. That is disgusting. I got a one. <laughs> no, no, I'm going off the scale. Negative, negative infinity. <laughs> that's that's not, not a number. number. That's an in, that's an impossibility. All right, negative, negative a thousand. That is a number. Yeah, bad. Nick, what do you think? Neg probably negative everything. <laughs> Bad negative. egg. <laughs> negative one hundred. I'm I I don't like that. No no egg lollipop. <laughs> no, I I refuse to eat this. Do I really have to? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Just what? 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 Did you watch him cook egg? <laughs> okay. Sh okay. Sure. Why not? So maybe that's the way to cook egg. We're gonna close it. Set this dishwasher for the tough setting. And three hours later, steamy. <laughs> this is very, very strange. Oh it goodness, looks steamy. kind of like the six and a half minute egg that we did earlier, but the yolk cooked more than the white did. I, I don't understand the science behind that, but something weird happened in this dishwasher. But it definitely works and is kind of weirdly good. I don't know. Three. Yeah. 
you prop if you own a dishwasher, you probably own like an oven or a stove top, so like a three. Yeah. Rice cooker. Haha! <laughs> rice cooker funny! <laughs> Maybe you just want to open it up and crack an egg right on top of that rice. Cook it right there. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. We're going to check this after five minutes. Alright, so this looks like a pretty perfectly cooked egg. The white is just barely set. Call it a sushi egg. The yolk just oozes oh. out. Oh, that's so delicious. It's actually kind of been perfumed by the rice, and it has like a beautiful, almost nutty quality to it. This is a really cool and really delicious way to cook an egg. I give it a two. I don't like rice. Yeah, yeah, like a four. I don't like rice, but someone else does. Yeah, you got a rice cooker? You got everything you need to make it happen. Egg cooker cooked it. This is an egg cooker. You load it up with eggs, you close the lid, you turn it on, and it steams some eggs. I think this should have been closer to the beginning. Here we have an egg. That this device egg is cooker. garbage. This looks pretty yeah, much why? exactly like any of our other cooked in shell eggs we made. The question is, do you really want a UFO hanging out on your counter that only has one purpose? It's not a bad way to cook an egg. It's really just no reason to cook an egg. Yeah. Let's give it a zero because it's pointless. Yeah, yeah. really, really, really with a Dabba Ranch. <laughs> Oh, no, no, don't even, don't do that. I don't know, apparently you put the eggs in here and they just come out when it's done. You hear that? It just made the weirdest noise. Oh no, 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 Oh my god. Oh, that is bad. Oh god. This egg is terrible, but it does practice safe sex, so I'll give it that. Still, all right. Uh, I'll give it a one because of its uh, because it's been listening. <laughs> you know, if it's practicing, you know, that's it. That's the, other than that. That is that is that is a disgusting way to cook an egg. That looks <laughs> bad. It's. It looks egg gross. Egg it probably egg tastes egg like plastic. Oh, Overall, I get for the stick. No, like a flavor. It tastes like bad seafood. I don't know why. It tastes like plastic. This is horrible. It's okay. horrible. All right. So people have a whole lot of different hack techniques for making all kinds of different eggs in the oven. We're gonna try three. Which right does now. Just put, so on your right, we're just gonna try to make a hard boiled egg. Put egg next to or in the like the in this middle one, we're gonna put a little bit of water in, crack the egg in there, and try to make a poached egg. On the left, we're gonna crack an egg right in here, add a little bit of salt, a little bit of cream, and then beat that up to try to make a scrambled egg. Then we're gonna take this whole muffin all right. and it into a 350 degree oven for about 12 minutes. After 12 minutes, this looks more like a six and a half minute egg. And this next one, I didn't really accomplish anything like a poached egg. And it's here okay. we have our scrambled egg, which is really just kind of like a mini frittata sort of guy, which looks kind of gross. I mean, these oven hacked methods are not really more convenient or more delicious. You better title this video Egg. Yeah, yeah, just Egg. Group reactions for Egg. <laughs> egg. Er. I give it a, it is a B. Yeah, let's go from uh, left to right. So, uh, so you know, scramble. You, you know what I mean. Yeah. Left to right. So, uh, I'll give this a uh, six. This one, uh, uh, five, four. Yeah. Uh, this one. Seven, five, six. Four. I give the scrambled five. Maybe two and one. Yeah, six four four for me. These oven right. hacked methods are not really more convenient or more delicious. Egg cooked in broth. So oh, that, 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 that sounds have. interesting. Beat two eggs up really well, and then we're gonna gently just squeeze into the hot broth. What kind of broth is this? Is it like chicken soup? Chicken. Mm. Chicken stock. Chicken soup. I like I like chicken noodle soup. So yeah. this this actually if this is cooked in a chicken soup broth, I would probably eat it. Isn't this how you make dumplings? 
this is our egg cooked in broth. The strands are a little bit broken up, but you still have these very delicately cooked egg bits floating in a lot of delicious broth. So it's like an egg soup. Yeah. Uh, I hope I don't, but I hope I don't grow too hard with all that bone broth and get the bone broth madness. I think I'll give this a five. Nick, eh, maybe two. I would, I would give it an eight. All right, it's soup, I love egg. Yeah, yeah, soup. I like chicken noodle soup, and eggs are good. <laughs> And slippery. This is really fun. Ah, uh, great outdoors. Except for the fact that it's 27 degrees. So we're not going to let a little cold not stop today. us. It's like so, All right, right, we're going to grill an egg on a gas powered grill. <coughs> we're going to cook this for between 10 and 15 minutes. I mean, good enough for who's for. Uh, you know, it's actually not peeling as hard as I thought it was going oh. to. It's definitely a little bit uneven. Right. A little bit of Weird. Stuff. You know, it's not that bad. You could cook an egg this way, but you probably want to rotate it just so it cooks a little bit more easily. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get why. Meh. Uh, two. That's not my type of hard-boiled egg. Yeah. Nah. That's not purpose. That's like a four. Yeah, maybe like a, maybe like a four. I give that a two. Okay. I'm going to put every smear. Instead of cooking it over direct heat, we're going to let the smoke and the indirect right. heat cook the egg over a longer period of time, around an hour. I got my barbecue this shoes on. An hour is definitely a little bit overcooked. Mm. That actually looks pretty good. Yeah. I could that a nine. Oh, that might get the smoke, that right. smoky really flavor. A little bit of barbecue smoke egg. I'll give that a nine. I would give it an eight and some barbecue shoes. Right, Give it a nine because it's my type of hard boiled egg and a smoky flavor would be interesting. Oh, campfire? What the? Okay, I want to see how this turns out. Barbecue shoes? That top is never going to cook just because of how cold the air is. So, you know, I'm just going to call an audible and give this a flip real quick just to speed the cooking of the yolk along a little bit. Oh, that might be a little overdone. Oh, no, not really. Mm. Oh, whoa. Actually, I'll give that an eight. And the whole thing has Seven. Very yeah, an eight. That looks good. Six. I'll give that a six. If you're going to cook an egg outside on the campfire, a cast iron is definitely a really good option. Oil. 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 Oil pack here. We're going to spray with some cooking spray. This feels very dangerous. We're going to crack an egg right in this pouch. Fold yeah, it up, don't. Put it Kids, do not spray aerosols over an open fire. I mean, it's yeah, don't. Up in a pretty Bad. Way. We're just gonna, let's just Bad idea. This. Okay, so here we have our foil-packed egg. For whatever reason, it smells terrible. I don't know if the aluminum burn or the... Ooh, um... Like ooh, that, but this egg is... Uh, evil. It is haunted, I am... That's a three, maybe two. <laughs> three. Yeah. Oh, that that's a terrible idea. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh. Zero. Here we have yeah. an exploded uh, egg. Frame. This was not a good idea. I did this so you didn't have to. Just don't do this. Unless this is a this is a one and a visit from the Geneva Convention. Okay, that's a zero. I don't like that egg. It's burnt. Yeah. It's gross. It, it's, yeah. it's dangerous. We've got an egg and we've got this portable sauna, and I'm just oh, gonna put yeah. it in here with my egg, and hopefully it's just gonna cook along with me. Why is he wearing an Aquaman's hat? If that was a real sauna and it was 180 degrees, it looked like he—it looked like he was wearing an Aquabats helmet. Over the course of many, many hours, would have cooked an egg. So let's see how far we go. That's a raw egg. Sauna egg, fail. Bad. No. Oh, that—that's—that's that's dangerous. That is dangerous. Yeah. Because of all the crap that's inside of engines. Don't do it. You're gonna get like like carbon dioxide and pollution and all that crap inside of whatever you cook. 
Don't do it. Enough it's that it's in our own zone. Am I right, gamers? And close the hood. All right, let's see what we've got. Okay, this feels disconcertingly not warm. Here's our car engine egg. It seems as though it was starting to cook a little bit. It definitely looks weirder than it. No. Zero. Zero again. The yeah. idea behind this device is it's somehow game. going to conduct the heat of the sun and trap it in this environment to Don't create a space it. that will cook an egg like an oven. Okay, it's been three hours, the egg no more tomorrow. sunlight, so we're going to see what we got. Yeah, uh, this also is not really a cooked egg. There is almost a little bit of white along the edge that started to cook. I think maybe if we left it out there for another four hours and maybe we were in Miami, then maybe something would have happened, but it is just not happening today. Solar fail. All right. Just go to the, just go to the All right. and then let your egg cook. So, that's it for that video. Yeah. Before we go... Something just came up while we were reacting to this. It turns out an image was revealed for uh, the Lego Tumblr, the new one. Now, uh, we, I already saw the UCS. I am leaving. All right. Well, Nick will want to stay. Yeah. Yeah, so we saw the UCS one, and it just had Batman and Joker again. All right, but, Which we already um, got. We, I mean, Batman, Heath Ledger, Joker, but still. Yeah. But let's see, Lego Tumblr. Let's see what the minifigure-sized one has. I really hope it has Two Face, uh, because you know he was in the Dark Knight. And where is the? Is that it. No, here, let me just look. My friend sent me a photo of it. I'll just describe what's in it. Alright. So, let's see. Scarecrow! Oh. It's Scarecrow! Oh, can you send me the picture, too? Uh. Hmm, where do I. Oh, wait. I can just access the chat. Hold on. I can just access my chat here. Instagram. And I'm not signed in. That's wonderful. Of course. Well, you can take my word for it. Scarecrow's in it. I'll send it to you, Nick. Alright. Alright, well, he's one of the characters I wanted to see, so. Yeah. All right, hopefully we get Two-Face, Catwoman, Ra's al Ghul at some point. All right. All right, well, that's it. Okay. See you, boys, on the good of the day.